So I just wanted to show you guys because I just show like the easy good parts. Let me show you how it sounds for for all the kids to be crying at the same time. I hope this is y'all's daily dose of birth control right here. What's up you guys? Welcome back. It feels so weird to be driving. You guys know obviously I just had the twins and when we go places, we go places as a family and then Mel drives. You know what I mean? So I haven't really done things on my own, which I really hate. That's just one thing I've really hated ever since just being a mom. I feel like I don't go places by myself at all anymore. Why is this lighting like that? Is he mad? Why? I don't know what's going on with this lighting situation. I just feel like we're all so paranoid nowadays, especially with the way things have gotten. Like, especially in LA, it's just gotten so much more dangerous. And every time I feel like I open TikTok, I see women talking about how they were being followed in the grocery store, or being followed inside of Target with their kids. And it honestly terrifies me. Nowadays, I'm just so used to Mel being there, kind of like being like my bodyguard that when I go places by myself, I feel like I have my head on a swivel now, which I should have always done. But I feel like, especially now after all that's been happening i feel like i need to be on my toes at all times especially when i'm out with kids because it's women with kids that are being targeted what what is this lighting i don't know what's going on so today is a special day because mel got his vasectomy i'm six weeks postpartum i haven't had my doctor's appointment yet but we decided like we mentioned in other videos we decided for mel to get a vasectomy and he got it this morning and that is why i came to pick up vaughn usually he picks up vaughn from school and i stay home with the babies but today mommy picked up kk no he's in a bad mood you guys his teacher said he didn't fall asleep for his nap until way later than the other kids so he's not that well rested which kind of has me nervous because we're about to head to target so i don't want him acting up inside of target when i'm by myself because we do not want to deal with all that but we are heading over to target we're gonna have a little movie night and just chill i'm also gonna let him like play outside a little bit just to burn some energy and then we're gonna have a movie night in the house so we're gonna get some snacks and I need to get the water balloons. You need your water bottle? Oh, you want to get water balloons? Yeah. Okay, we'll get you water balloons from Target. He loves these water balloons. His dad always gets them. So, yeah, we're heading over to Target to get some goodies. And because I ran out of the house, so Mel had his appointment this morning. So pretty much I did not leave my bed until like an hour and a half ago. Because with twins, guys, when you're solo with twins, it just be taking forever. Because it takes like 20 minutes to feed and change their diaper, each one. And then so you have to do one and then you know get them settled and then do the other one that's like 40 minutes right there and then I had to pump that takes me 30 minutes and then by the time I'm done with all that and then after that was done I finally took my shower and then by the time that was done it was time to repeat the cycle so I literally did not leave my bed and then when I got out of my bed I had all these bottles to wash and all of that so I didn't have time to get myself ready that's why I'm holding my brow pencil in my hand but you guys know my everyday makeup isn't anything crazy I just wear mascara and some brows so I'm actually you know what we've been sitting here for a minute I'm gonna go to Target and do it in the park lot and we're gonna go get some goodies please pray for me because <laughs> hoping Vaughn will get in a little bit of a better mood when we get there maybe when he sees his water balloons he'll get a little you know happier so let's go so Kay Vaughn wanted to go to the car wash first right KK he's too mesmerized by all the lights look at him <laughs> Wow, look at all those colors, KK. Why do I just have the worst luck today with lighting? There. Wait, but I need the mirror. What am I doing? Hold on. 
Does this have a little mirror? Yes, it does. I'm about to do my eyebrows on this tiny little mirror. But you guys can see we're now at Target. Not gonna lie, the drive from the C-A-R-W-A-S-H was not the best because he wanted to go back through it. And I was like, no, it's only one time. But luckily when he saw we came to Target, he let it go, but y'all. Oh, take me back to the newborns. No, not even. Newborn stage is hard too. Honestly, all the stages are hard. And then when I talk to other parents with older kids, they're like, oh, you just wait till they're three. You just wait till they're four. You just wait until they're a teenager. I'm like, so it never ends. Is that what you're telling me? It's impossible to do my eyebrows in that tiny mirror. I'll just talk to you guys when we get inside. Owl. Okay, we're gonna get the owl. Okay, so you wanna show them your lollipop? You ate the face already, Vaughn. They had the tart, you can see the little tear marks you guys from earlier. <laughs> but, so they, um, so Vaughn got the target, is it a dog? I didn't even look at it before he just ate the face off. I got a pumpkin spice cold brew. It's my first of the season. Guys, look, I'm getting acne again. <sighs> the pregnancy skin is gone. What are we doing, KK? This is mommy's fun. This is mommy's juice. Which jammies are we gonna get for tonight? I need this. That was too big for you, Vaughn. Mm. You want you want dinosaurs? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna do dinosaur jammy, and it's your size too, so it's meant to be. I mean, oh, um, mommy needs jammies and brother or sister. Or what should we get, brother or sister? <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. What's this one? It's for brother, sister? Pumpkin? Sister. Don't get it dirty, Vaughn. For sister? <coughs> yeah. Okay. We'll keep this as an option. Oh, this is butter! For brother? This is too big for brother, KK. It's too but big. Butter. That's too big for brother. One day he'll be as big as you and we can get him that. Yeah. Um, the sister, the sister, the sister. Want this one for sister? Yeah. So this one for brother? But look, this one doesn't have pants. A brother, a sister. But this doesn't have pants. See how this has pants? Okay, okay you want to tell Kavari crew what we have to do first to open this? Yeah. What do we have to do first? Remember what we talked about? Mommy. Yeah, I'll show mommy. Okay. So me and Kayvon both picked out our own cars. I got the Porsches. So this, this is a set of the Porsches. This, um, I, KK picked this, this one. Well. And what do we have to do first? Oh, um, I need this. And will we have to do something before we open it? Um. Yeah, I need to pay for it. Yeah, we have to pay for it first, and then we can open it. Because KK wanted to open it in the store. And I said, nope. So so I need to open it to try to buy it. You have to buy it, right? Okay, mommy. Okay, baby. I love when he says, okay, mommy. Literally, he can have the whole world when he says, okay, mommy. Mm -hmm. I love you. Can I have a kiss? Can I have a kissy? I love you. It's scary. It's scary. It's scary? Yeah. <laughs> go. Uh, no, Let's go. Let's leg. go then. Who's that, Vaughn? Man. That's the pumpkin man. That's it's a skeleton. Daddy. It's, daddy, it's, it's a daddy, daddy skeleton. It's daddy skeleton. Daddy skeleton. It's daddy. It's daddy. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. That, that, that. Guys, I just came running back to Kayvon and he goes, No running, mommy. I was like, Oh, you're right. No running. Uh, but, Vaughn, no, I want to no. show you. Vaughn, I want to show you this aisle. You're gonna like it. It's your favorite. Um, I need. Uh, uh, Vaughn is saying uh, he needs everything in the store. Yes. <gasps> look, look. What's this one? Um, skeleton. Skeleton? Yeah. Spooky. Oh, um, I need fire. You need spider? I need fire pumpkin. <gasps> pumpkin? I need fire pumpkin, mommy. Want this pumpkin? Yes. Yeah. Someone say he wants that pumpkin and he wants this spider. I'm like Vaughn, we're gonna buy the whole store at this point. Daddy, just vibing. How are you, babe? Are you feeling any pain now? He didn't have any pain at first. 
No. Uh, okay. Yeah, I can fill you guys in a little bit later on some more details, but he's just he's yeah, just chilling right now. Oh. Fine, you got to be careful around Daddy. Remember, he went to doctor. Yeah, we're not having any more of these little rascals anytime soon. <laughs> yeah, we all good over here. Yeah. KK is cleaning up his cars so that we can play outside. Right, Vaughn? Yeah, we did. Oh, no. Aww. You're so cute. Let the babies are asleep on the swings. Oh, I'm literally pumping right now. Look at this. I'm wearing the mom cozies. So. Guys, please look at what I just saw. KK, what is this? Look, y'all, it's chalk, but it's on the net. So we have to get that replaced. I don't think this will come out. Y'all, tonight is a chicken nuggets and fries type of night. But, yeah, solo chirazi, so I'm not doing that bad. Ooh, sorry, KK. So I just wanted to show you guys, because I just show, like, the easy good parts. Let me show you how it sounds for for all the kids to be crying at the same time. Well, Vaughn is just crying because the babies are crying. Okay, she stopped crying. Let me tend to let me tend to this one. I don't even know the names right now. I don't even know. Okay, now she's crying again. But yeah, guys, when all of them are I hope this is y'all's daily dose of birth control right here. I'm just joking, y'all. We love them. We love them. This house is full of love. Love and a mess. What's wrong, my moochie mama? Silence. Beautiful thing. You know, people ask yeah, me how I lost the weight after having the twins. It's honestly really? from having to literally run around 24 seven. Like, like, I'm never chilling. Really? I swear, like even though I'm not in the really? gym, like I'm really? like on fire right now. I'm still sweating and then breastfeeding on top of it. <sighs> I'm getting my workouts in, trust me. Finally time to clean and end the night. I'm so ready to just Relax, Mel and I have been watching Gossip Girl. I've watched Gossip Girl like twice, but I just got Mel into it and I'm so happy he likes it. So I'm gonna try to get this done and we can finally end the night. And by the way, we decided to do our Halloween movie night and painting pumpkins tomorrow because by the time we got home from um, Target, it was already pretty late in the day, it was already 6 p.m. And he goes to bed at eight, so we had to do, you know, he needed some playtime, then we did his bath and then dinner so that just took you know we just figured tomorrow straight from school we can go ahead and get into our festive activities so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and clean up and we can finally end the night Exhausted is an understatement right now. I am so tired. Mel passed out on the couch after dinner and I could have woken him up, but I was like, no, he had a really rough day today. I really just wanted him to sleep and get his rest and heal. So I took Vaughn up 
put him to bed. The babies were napping during that time, luckily. And I just figured I'd do their bedtime routine as well, just like on my own. And this was my first time doing all three kids' bedtime routine all by myself. Um, and then also like cleaning the kitchen. Like usually Mel and I divide and conquer. Like he'll put Vaughn to sleep while I clean the kitchen. And then by the time he comes down, we'll both, you know, split up the babies and then put them to sleep. And then, you know, end our night and watch TV and stuff like that. But I did everything on my own, y'all. It's like midnight at this point. And the worst part is I went downstairs to grab some stuff. I came back up. I looked in the bassinet. Both the babies, their eyes are wide open like this. And I'm like, go to sleep. <laughs> like, what else do y'all want? I changed y'all. I fed y'all. I burped you guys. Like, go to sleep. You know what I mean? But they're still wide awake. But they're quiet. So... I'm not complaining. As long as they don't start crying, I'm good to go. At night, especially Kai, they just get super hungry at night. Like they cluster feed at night. Um, not really Arya, but like Kai, he is a hungry, hungry boy. I mean, you guys can see the size difference between them. He just like, right before he sleeps, he just needs all the milk in the world. But I'm not complaining because once they actually do go to sleep, they're good sleepers. But getting them to sleep takes a minute. You know what I mean? And they're both a lot more cuddly than Vaughn like Vaughn as a baby didn't really need that much like physical touch and cuddles they like especially Kai I feel like I'm saying especially Kai for everything but he needs you know cuddles he needs to be rocked he wants that physical touch one of them is awake I'm almost positive is Kai so I'm just so ready to go to sleep but I have to pump and sometimes like once in a while I'll be so tired that I'll skip my night pump and I'll wake up in a pool of milk I'm not kidding so I'm not trying to do that um, but yeah, I didn't finish the kitchen. I was like, I do not need to be worried about the kitchen right now. There's bigger fish to fry. It's Kai. I knew it. I knew it was Kai. So I'm going to go ahead and feed him and try to get him to sleep. And I'll just continue the vlog tomorrow. Hello, guys. It's the next day. I just want to show you guys this delicious little snack I'm eating right now. These pretzel crisps. I swear. They were both asleep a second ago. I was like, perfect, I can go downstairs and eat something. But babies are crying, so I'm gonna go upstairs. I think that's Aria. But y'all, these spicy ranch little pretzel crisps, so good. I'm eating it with Keshka Bottom June. This is a Persian little eggplant dip. So good. Literally. We just came home from school. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. Oh, hi, Tita. Hi. Oh, oh he's stuck in there. I like your sticker. Yeah, I go Target. Yeah, you want to Target again? Yeah. Daddy, can you take off his shoes, please? I don't eat. I don't eat. Take your shoes, please. Are you going outside? I said not. Hi. It's enough. Did it go higher? Emmy, did it go higher? She's like, you so loud for what? <laughs> yeah. Hi, so both the babies are officially asleep. Thank goodness. I feel like every time I say that, they're going to start crying. So like, let me give it a second. Okay, still silence. Beautiful. Um, Vaughn is playing outside with his dad. And I am just going to clean up the bottles. Like, I swear, it's just an endless cycle of just washing and sanitizing bottles. You guys saw I do, like, breastfeed too. But I just love the freedom of pumping. And especially with twins, like, tandem nursing is just, like, not easy for me. And I feel like they don't get full, like, 100% full when I breastfeed. So I breastfeed them. I sit and, like, breastfeed them for 15 minutes. And then they'll cry again in, like, an hour. Versus if I give them a big bottle of, like, four or five ounces of milk they'll be full for a good you know three hours so that's why i prefer to bottle feed for real um but i do breastfeed for like the bonding experience and all that stuff so like i said earlier tonight's gonna be the night that we actually sit down and watch our movie i'm washing the jammies that we got yesterday but the thing is when i was putting them in the washer i realized i got kai newborn and kai is definitely in the zero to three months now newborn does not fit him and i don't know why i guess i was just so concerned with like filming and all that stuff i didn't catch it yesterday so mel and mom went to target after school like when he picked him up 
to exchange it for a bigger size. And then I realized I didn't buy popcorn either. And Mel, you getting the water balloons? I didn't know they come in such a big pack. Yeah, I'm like, let me just stop wasting my time going back and forth. Let me show you guys. So Kayvon is obsessed with these big water balloons from, I don't know why I thought this was the camera that was there. <laughs> so Kayvon is obsessed with these water balloons from Target. And usually they come in small packs, but I saw today Mel found the big packs. And it's so funny because yesterday when I told, you guys saw in the footage, and I told Vaughn we're going to Target, he was like, oh, water balloons? And we forgot to buy them. We were just so concerned with Halloween stuff. So when I was buckling him into his car seat, he was like, wait, 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 stop, water balloons. Literally, he was like, wait, we didn't get the water balloons. And I was like, Vaughn, not today. We're gonna go get them tomorrow. I didn't realize that you can't lie to this boy. When you say tomorrow, he is going to remember. So when Mel picked him up from school, Mel called me and he's like, the second Vaughn came into the car, he goes, where's mommy? We go to Target and get water balloons. I was like, oh my gosh, he did not forget at all. But he got his water balloons. He's playing with them outside right now. So I'm gonna use this free time that I have, not free time, this quiet time that I have to get some cleaning done and listen to my audiobook. Guys, I don't know why I didn't start listening to audiobooks sooner. I was just getting so frustrated because now that we have three kids, like I have no time to read at all. And then it hit me. I used to work with Audible a long time ago, remember? Like years ago, I worked with Audible and I would listen to audiobooks. And I guess I just didn't really have the need for it because I had time to sit down and read. But I was just getting frustrated because I was trying to read my book and every single time I would sit down and crack open my book, one of the babies would start crying. There'd be something to clean, something to do. And I was supposed to be in a book club with Javi and Danny for The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. But they finished that book months ago. Like Danny bought me that book back in July and I still didn't have a chance to read it. So I was just getting so frustrated. And then it hit me, I can listen to the book. So that's just became my routine and I actually look forward to cleaning the kitchen every night and listening to my audiobook. That's how I know I became a mom. Like that's like my me time. Guys, I go upstairs to grab my headphones and this little girl's eyes are wide open. She wasn't crying or anything, but I just brought her downstairs with me and I'm gonna pop her on her swing just in case she does start crying. I don't have to go run all the way upstairs. So let's go put her in her swing. lights from Target. I thought it'd be cute to put it by the TV so we could just turn off all the lights and then have these orange lights for our movie night. And then I also, these are just stuff for our pumpkins. We're not gonna do these today. This will be like another activity. And guys, I saw this. It's the cutest thing ever. So daddy gave Vaughn a bath and we put him in his Halloween jammies. Come on, you gotta pose like this, go. Ah! <laughs> Show your pants like this. So look handsome. Look at my pants. Look at my pants. Come on. Say, look at my Helping shirt. Look at my, show the camera. Say, look at my shirt. He wants to show his daddy. Say, there's dinosaurs. Attack the camera like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> You're so cute. So I saw this create your own photo frame kit. I thought it was the cutest thing ever. So I figured we could take a cute picture of all the kids in their Halloween jammies. And then Kayvon and I can decorate our frames and we can put that like those photos in there so and we can add it to the memory box so we are going to be doing this as well on another day but guys after school like everything is just you know back to back we gotta give them some play time we gotta eat dinner we gotta shower so we don't really have time for multiple activities after school so i'm gonna go ahead and set up for his movie
You want to finish this movie, Kay? Okay, mom wasn't really feeling Adam's family, so this is the Shark Dog Halloween special. He loves this show. I actually really like Shark Dog too, to be honest. I am pumping real quick, and I'm also making these cookies we bought yesterday from Target. They were out of the like regular sugar cookies that have like the pumpkin on them and stuff. Um, they were sold out, but I found these. So they have Count Chocula on them, and what is this? Frankenberry. So yeah, I'm just making those real quick. Here's KK's plates. Mm -hmm. See the faces on your cookies, K? Spooky faces. What's this one doing? Make that face. Um, what? It's like this, K. Okay? <laughs> this one is what? Strawberry? Yeah. Berry, yeah. This is berry and this is chocolate. This, um... Take a bite. Mmm. It's called a sugar cookie. <laughs> has a hat too. It's behind you. He's too tired for all that. But look, guys, it's a skeleton with little candy. <laughs> She's missing a glove and a sock. <laughs> Princess's outfit. My mochi. It came with a little, a little um, head bow too. Here's her little bow. Came <laughs> with it. <laughs> Hold on here, let me tuck her ear in. Her little head is too small for every bow she has, including this one, but. Good, my little, a little look. My little pumpkin. My pumpkin turned into an actual pumpkin. Mm -hmm. Babe, look at this. Look at this. Look at it for me. Hi, Mooch. Why do we both look naked right now? Because we just finished. Babe, yeah. shut up. It's <laughs> quite the opposite. We just finished being on the verge of mental breakdowns, both of us. I'm in my um, pump bra, by the way. Cause... I have on shorts. YouTube, I am wearing shorts, okay? By this time of night, Mel and I are ready to just, I don't even know what we're ready to do. Throw we're, ourselves off a balcony. We're beat. We're beat. We are. Because we remember the days of Kayvon literally putting him in bed takes like 30 minutes. We come out at 8.30, have the rest of our night. That is nope. no longer. The twins don't go to sleep until midnight, but I read that's normal for newborns to go to sleep at midnight. Yeah, but I believe it's normal. I just can't, we're just waiting for the day that they're on a schedule where they're going to sleep at like eight and waking up at eight, you know, that 12 hour mm -hmm. stretch. When that happens, then we'll have our sanity back. But as of right now, especially at night, cause we're both just so tired from the day, Plus having a toddler, plus cleaning up the house. It's just and because they're they unpredictable. Get, yeah, and then they get extra hungry at night. Remember, it was like a week where where we knew it was just going to be high every night, and that wasn't as bad. But now it's like we don't know what's yeah. going to happen, when we're going to go to sleep. They go through growth spurts at different times. They don't go through it at the same time. But yeah, tonight Aria was the fussy one, but she still wasn't that bad. <sighs> What's, what makes it harder is they're a lot different from Kayvon because they love physical touch. They want to be held. They want to be touched. They want to be like pressed up against you. Yeah, they're super And I hate cuddly. physical touch. So by the end of the night, literally like my whole body itches. I have the heebie-jeebies, which is normal for out. me. If I get super touched out, like I feel like I have bugs crawling all over me. So I, I get was, I get touched out too. I get touched out too, but Mel is like a different level. Like I looked over at him and he was like, <sighs> and I was like, are you okay? Yeah, like, <laughs> like, it'll, like I'll have an itch here, then an itch here. And then like, it'll be like nonstop unless I like completely distract myself with something that doesn't involve being touched. With that being said, we love parenthood, right babe? I just heard one of them. Huh? I just heard one of them. Stop. Probably Kai, his eyes are open when I left the room. That's Kai. Yeah, well I have to pump, so you're on your own, homie. He can be right next to you. And on that note, we are ending the vlog. We'll see you guys in our next video. Love y'all.